Hello everyone, I have a 2022 Kia Telluride LX and today I'm going to show you how to install some crossbars on it. Now the LX is the lowest trim level of the Telluride so it doesn't come with any roof rails. As I was looking through some of the Facebook comments in the Telluride group, I noticed that people confuse roof rails with crossbars. So just for the sake of this video and to avoid any confusion, I'll clarify the two of them. Roof rails run the length of the car and crossbars go across the car and are usually attached to the roof rail. And again, since the LX is the lowest trim level, it doesn't come with any roof rails, but there is a way that you can still attach some crossbars to it. What I did was go to eTrailer.com. I just found this website to be the most organized and had the most information for what I needed. I just selected the 2022 Kia Telluride and selected the roof rack and then I looked for the no existing rails or crossbars. And from there you can kind of see the choices that might work for you. There weren't a lot, but at least there was something that you could use. I ended up choosing the Yakima baseline towers. There's four of those and the jet stream crossbars. The final thing that you'll need with this are the clips that are specific to installing this on the Telluride, BC-125 and BC-165. Now I'm not gonna go through every single step on how to install this. There's way better videos than what I can do. I'll link the video in the description uh, for the one that I used installing this. But anything that's specific to the Telluride, I'll make sure to highlight. First thing you wanna do is go to infolookup.yakima.com. Choose your year, your make, model, and then select the naked roof. What this is gonna do is give you all the measurements that you need to properly install this on your vehicle. First thing you wanna do is open up the cap on the, base on the baseline tower. You just squeeze it at the top and open it up. There's a little security tab that you're gonna pull. And then you have the little seat that is going to be threaded onto the bolt right there. As you tighten this down, don't tighten it all the way. You just want it on there just a little bit because the little seat that sticks out, the little metal piece is the part that's gonna slide under the crossbar later. Now, before you put this We'll go over a few things that you need to know with the base tower. The first is the pitch bolt, which is right here. You'll need to know where the tow bolt is and the tow adjustment. For the front crossbar, you shouldn't need to change the tow adjustment or the tow bolt. It was in the middle, which is where it needed to be on the both the front and the back. The pitch bolt is the one that you're gonna need to adjust. So as you see, you can adjust the pitch and that's the part that you're going to find. On the other side, you want to put it at the far end, depending on how you slide that onto your crossbar. For the front crossbar, make note of where the front of it is. When you flip it over, keep track of that front. And as you slide on the base tower, you're going to want to set the pitch to the line that's closest to the front of the crossbar. Now refer back to your measurements. You're gonna need M1, which is 41 and three quarters. Find that measurement on the front crossbar, slide the tower on, and then go ahead and tighten it down until you hear it click. Do that on both sides. Then you're gonna need the M3 measurement, which is 40 inches and that's for the rear crossbar. Now again, you shouldn't have to make any adjustments to the pitch or the toe adjustment. It should all be in the middle and you'll just go ahead and tighten down that on both sides until you have all the towers where they need to be. You can go ahead and remove that rubber strip. You'll cut that down later to fit Next, you'll want to install your base clips. For the front crossbar, you'll need the BC-125. That goes on the front, you just slide it in, 
and close the cap and you'll do that on the other side. For the rear crossbar, you're going to need the base clip 165 and you'll do the same thing on this side. You'll just open up the cap, slide in the clip, close it and do that with the other side. Go ahead and put the little feet on all four towers. It just pops in. And put the end caps in. Refer back to your measurements. You're gonna need the M2 measurement, which is 13 inches. And that's the measurement from the windshield to the placement of the front crossbar. Go ahead and mark that. Carefully place the crossbar onto your roof. And from here, it's just a matter of tightening the swing bolt and the drive bolt on both sides evenly until you hear it click. Again, You'll need to refer back to your measurements, which you need M4, which is 32 inches. And this measurement is the space between the front crossbar and the rear crossbar. Again, tighten the swing bolt, tighten the pitch bolt until you hear them click. Do it evenly on both sides. Finally, you wanna put the covers on all four towers. They just snap right in. And there's your finished product. This is the Yakima crossbars with the baseline towers. If you have any questions, go ahead and type them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you out 